Good morning. March 28, 2019. Today I want to talk a little bit about reflective thinking and the idea of uh, self allowing us to notice things beyond daily existence. Um, as we walk through in reflection, we always have the ability to stand back and look at what we've done or did that day. It's hard to do while you're doing it, but the idea of meditative or reflective thinking towards self, it was stated, you know, with the Greeks, Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, but Kierkegaard in the early 1800s, Lutheran minister, existentialist, the first existentialist is what they called him later. Kierkegaard tells us that reflection of self is everything to understanding existence, God, everything above, below, and us. And the idea of self-reflection has to occur in a period where you have downtime. Uh, usually I think about like fishing or, or something. I think of hobbies here. Things I do, even driving a car where you pay attention to driving and the road and get from point A to B, no problem, but you're able to think of other things. So when you're in self, when you're in solitude, this reflective thinking will make us stronger in the world because we can figure out what we're doing, how we're doing it, what our behavior is, what happens to our soul spirit when it's affected by others in the world over a given day or a year or time. And we have time to withdraw into self, reflectively think about self and figure ourself out for ourself which is key. The individual is still the highest good on earth. Uh, life is a will to power and nothing more. Friedrich Nietzsche. It's about going out into the world, exercising your will to the fullest extent, seeing everything you can accomplish, everything you can be, living to your full potential. And to do that, reflective thinking has to be part of our lives. Now, when we get to it with the internet and cell phones especially and all these other communications devices, which they tell us it's interesting they call communications because really we're communicating, but it's in a time delay format. Rarely is it instantaneous. And uh, people don't even use telephones much and talk anymore because of it, relying on text. So the life of technology, especially around the internet, cell phones, etc is such that it doesn't allow us solitude to find self or search for personal reflection of self, let alone self being in the world, um, under nature, under God. These sorts of things are taken away from us if we let them be, and our self becomes askew and is drawn out of ourselves. Anytime our self is in the world, there should be time of reflection outside of the world in your own personal space to figure out what's really going on, bolster yourself, and always realize no one knows it all. People just know levels of things. The truth about ignorance is it's greatly unawareness that thinks it knows everything. The worst ignorance is that that thinks it knows. A self, a human being who lives in reflection of all the other animals, plants, rocks, right down to the sand, and walks through is the strongest individual at all of all. And then you can uplift yourself into the world and become everything you can be. Reality is, life is greatly mental. Fear is greatly unrealized bullshit. And you got to live and do and love, laugh, and complain. If you can't complain, something's wrong. Who would walk through this life without complaining? I hope you have a good day, y'all. Peace out.